you will, please remain standing through the invocation prayer and the national anthem. If you'll bow with me. Our God, revive your people in this time of grace and learning, create in us a new song and teach us to walk in new ways. Let hope be the light of our eyes and justice discipline our wills. Let our peace be the work of your hands, then shall the time be good and the labor not in vain. To this end, lead us and grant us joy along the way. Please be seated. Welcome. I would like to welcome everyone today. First and foremost, the graduates, family and friends of the graduates, visitors and guests. We are happy to have you here today to share in this joyous occasion. Thank you for coming. Parker was officially opened in September 1982 and the charter class graduated in August 1985. And today, we are participating in the ninth commencement program of the College of Health Sciences and the seventh commencement program for the College of Business and Technology. I'd like to introduce you to our platform party. Dr. Bill Morgan, our president. Dr. Oliver Smith the chair of our Board of Trustees, Dr. Drew Reif, the Dean of the College of Health Sciences. We have over here, Sonia Kirkpatrick, our commencement speaker, Roxanne Kemp, who is the Dean of our General Studies and Online Programs. And then over behind, we also have Michael Johnson, our Dean of Student Affairs. We also have uh, another member of our Parker University Board of Trustees join us in the celebration today. So just please join me in recognizing the group of our leaders and thanking them for their service. It's most important to recognize a group of dedicated individuals who have given much time and effort to assist our graduates to achieve their goal and have made this day possible. Here at Parker, we believe that we have one of the finest faculty and staffs of any institution in the world and I would like the faculty and staff to stand to receive acknowledgement for their efforts. And carrying the ceremonial mace in today's commencement program is our Director of Occupational Therapy Assistant Program, Ms. Angela Duell. 
And the two faculty members who are serving as faculty marshals today are Gregory May and Rick Salivar, Salazar with our massage school. Right down in front, please stand. Thank you for your assistance in our commencement program. And now, with great pleasure, I get to introduce a very special person to Parker University. Our commencement speaker, Sonia Kirkpatrick, has a really just a soulful story. She noticed her, older da her oldest daughter was behind developmentally when compared to her siblings. She was insensitive to pain, lacked motor skill dexterity, was inattentive, and could not interact socially with other children. After thousands of miles traveled in search of answers and countless appointments with pediatricians, neurological psychologists, psychiatrists, and therapists, she received a diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome and ADHD coupled with dyspraxia. Sonia spent two years orchestrating multiple evaluations, consultations, and referrals across the country expending tremendous time and resources that could have been better used to treat her daughter. And she wondered how many others had experienced something like this and how many other families had really struggled. So from this personal journey, Sonia developed a vision for a clinic where a child could be evaluated, diagnosed, and treated by a multidisciplinary team of professionals in a single collaborative location. Her concept for Pediaplex was born and as the founder and CEO of Pediaplex, she established one of the only collaborative care clinics in the country and the leading diagnostic and therapeutic center in DFW. Sonia went back to school and got her MBA at the University of Dallas and is deeply entrenched in the pediatric behavioral health community in North Texas. Sonia is a member of Parker's Occupational Therapy Assistant Advisory Board and I am happy to tell you that her daughter, Megan, was just accepted into our OTA program. So please extend a warm welcome to Sonia Kirkpatrick. Well, congratulations, class of 2017. I am excited to be here with you today to celebrate the beginning of your journey. The jobs you will be performing are important and the work you will be doing is so valuable to the community. Each of you have different backgrounds and different aspirations, but each of you are working toward helping people meet their potential. Each of you chose Parker University for different reasons. Some of you may have chosen it for career advancement, some of you for better earning potential, some of you for self-fulfillment, and possibly some of you because your parents told you to. The best advice I have for you today is to do something every single day that inspires you and to embrace a vision and just make it happen. Some of you may ask, vision? What is really vision? Well, vision often begins with the inability to accept things the way they are. This dissatisfaction matures into a clear picture of what truly could be. Today, I'd like to share my story with you. Why? Because my education was truly the beginning of something great. I graduated from Texas Tech with a degree in accounting, and then I went on to get my master's at University of Dallas. I was a global controller for a global communications company, and I went back to school to get my MBA in global business. So I was a little bit older going back to get my degree. When I had originally enrolled in the program, I believed that I would continue my career path as a global controller and in global business. The most challenging task for me has always been being a mother and being able to balance it to three daughters, one of which has autism, and have a successful career. I traveled over 50% of the year to different international locations and still maintained being a room mom and a Girl Scout leader. Ultimately though, I really wanted to be a better leader. Leadership is really more than just having a title and banging your chest about being a leader. 
To me, being a leader is more about improving yourself and those around you. In business, school, and life, there are many things that appear gray, but if you look closely and ask for input, you will find these gray areas blur and clarify to black and white. One of the things I have learned throughout my career in life is that there is a clearly defined way of right and wrong, the way to perform tasks, relate to people, and live your life. I could never have imagined that once I was graduated with my degree, my degree and my master's, it would not only change my career, but my life as well. This was actually the turning point in my life. As I mentioned, my oldest daughter has autism and the personal struggles our family faced was taking our child to multiple appointments at different clinics to try to get the care for her. And I mean, I was going everywhere, over here for psychology testing, over here for occupational therapy, over here for speech therapy, over here for counseling, then here for social skills. And here I was having two other daughters trying to figure it out. And, but what I found most, and this is so important with each of you graduating in health sciences, is it's the collaboration of care for the family and what you're doing. But I developed a business plan while I was pursuing my MBA for an all-inclusive developmental center for the DFW area. And in January of 2012, I opened Pediaplex, an all-inclusive collaborative care center in South Lake, Texas, encompassing psychology testing, occupational therapy, speech therapy, play therapy, counseling, and ABA therapy. We've experienced tremendous growth over the last five years, but the largest growth has actually been in me as a leader. I would have never imagined owning my own company and having an impact on so many parents and children's lives. Leadership and entrepreneurial spirit are merely words until you step out on that ledge and take that leap. Having faith and moral character gives me the strength and knowledge to know that I am doing the right thing. I wanted more than a job. I wanted a career where I could change the lives of families who struggled as I did. The true vision I imagine is looking to the past when I am older and knowing that I have influenced and helped people's children live better lives. Has this change in my life been scary? Absolutely. I actually did not know what I was missing in my life until I took my vision and made it happen. As you leave today, take with you the spirit of leadership and use your education and vision to depart on your own journey. And always remember, the point of a journey is not to arrive. Thanks so much. Good afternoon. As many of you may know, Parker University is accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges in the state of Texas to offer a Bachelor of Science with a major in Computer Information Systems and Associate of Applied Science with a major in Health Information Technology and an Associate of Science in General Studies. There are two students in the graduating class who have completed or will soon complete all requirements to earn a Bachelor of Science with a major in Computer Information Systems, one student to earn an Associate of Applied Science with a major in Health Information Technology, and one student to earn an Associate of Science in General Studies degree. Two of these students will be receiving a cord to signify graduating with honors. Thank you. We would also like to take time on this special day to recognize those who have earned their Associates of Applied Science in Diagnostic Sonography, Associates of Applied Science in Massage Therapy, Associates of Applied Science in Occupational Therapy Assistant, Associate of Applied Science in Radiologic Technology, and graduates who have earned a certificate in Massage Therapy. There are seven students in this graduating class who have completed or will soon complete all requirements to earn an Associates of Applied Science in Diagnostic Sonography. 
One of these students will be wearing a cord signifying graduation with honors. There are two students in this graduating class who have completed or will soon complete all requirements to earn an Associate of Applied Science in Massage Therapy. And both of those students will be wearing cords signifying graduation with honors. There are eight students in this graduating class who have completed or will soon complete all requirements to earn an Associate of Applied Science in Radiologic Technology. One of these students will be receiving a cord signifying graduating with honors. Almost there. There are five students in this graduating class who have completed or will soon complete all requirements to earn an Associate of Applied Science in Occupational Therapy Assistant. One of these students will be receiving a cord signifying graduating with honors. And there are 20 students in this graduating class who have completed or will soon complete all requirements necessary to earn a certificate in massage therapy. Eight of these students will be receiving a cord to signify graduating with honors. Will the graduates please stand? Will those assisting with the conferring of the degrees please take your place? I present to you the graduating class of August 2017. The faculty have determined that each of these students has completed or will soon complete all the requirements for the degree, and the faculty have certified them as being worthy of the title. Additionally, we have graduates that, have, that will be receiving honors. Those graduates are awarded this distinction by completing their program with a 3.5 GPA or higher. Those graduates are indicated with a white cord. Will the first word of graduates please come forward? The rest of the graduates may take your seat. We have our very first graduate with a Bachelor's in, of Science in Computer Information Systems, Michelle A. Briggs, graduating with honors. <laughs> graduating Associate of Applied Science in Diagnostic Sonography, Monique Nicole Blackerby. <laughs> Don Carlene Carter. Eric Michael Fisk, graduating with honors. <laughs> Kyle McKenzie Hackney. Tonya Deanne Lofton. <laughs> Drew Wesley McDaniel. Rashonda McGinnis. <laughs> Introducing our first graduate with Associate in Applied Science and Journal Studies, 
Shanine Nichelle Harvey. Tammy Taylor. <laughs> graduating with Associate in Applied Science and Massage Therapy, Jessica Coley, United States Navy, graduating with honors. Kimberly Henderson, graduating with honors. <laughs> graduating with Associate of Applied Science and Radiologic Technology, Delandria Hargrave. Crystal Elaine Lane. Michelle Nicole Loftus. Jordan Derek McFarland. <laughs> Mustafa Oria, graduating with honors. Michelle D. Reed. <laughs> Kiran Sabu. David Walker Spearman. <laughs> graduating with Associate of Applied Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant, Lacey Kathleen Harvey, graduating with honors. Jose Lee. Pablo Lee. Denisha Newson. Yeah. 
Narendra Patel. Bhavini Patel. Scott Buck. <laughs> Tamika Preston. Latigram Malone, graduating with the honors. Good job. Ethan Hawk Merchant. Katie Polito. <laughs> Xavier Preston. Vanessa Price, graduating with honors. <laughs> Alexandria Rickert, graduating with honors. Orlando Rosadas. <laughs> Julia Rudis. Vanessa Simaferro, graduating with honors. Adam Ryan Staley, graduating with honors. Big day. Congratulations. Good to I'm so proud that my name are on those certificates and diplomas. I'm proud of you all. Expect great things out of you. In the healing arts, it's a special calling. And I know many of you felt, have felt that calling. And some of you had gone down different paths first, but that you knew you had to come back to the healing arts because you're gonna touch people's lives and their bodies and their souls. And it's, it is a sacred calling that you're entering into. And I would want you to always draw yourselves back to that. Why were you here? Why did you make these choices? Today you're given a coin. And the coin was, is to commemorate something. It's, it, the, the, the history of these coins, challenge coins, goes back to Army Special Forces in Vietnam 
where we had a terrible war going on, and Army Special Forces would go through a, a lot of training to prepare for that, and then they would lose those, their, their comrades. So they had a challenge coin they would carry with them in their pocket always, just so they could remember those who went before them, but also the training that they had gone through, the rigors they had gone through to get where they were. So you each have a coin with some of the Parker principles on them. And on them it says, loving service is my first technique. And really that is more than a motto to us. We want that to be what you, who you are, your persona. It also says that, let me see on the other side, that I will, pardon me, develop a compassion to serve that is greater than my compulsion to survive. So it's one of those things that's, and you already know this because you're here, you're here to serve. And you've got to get past the point of where you're, you're thinking about making, you know, for survival. But if you concentrate on serving others, your life will be fulfilled. And I've got a little bit of a tongue twister here to, as I commence my, as I lay down the degrees upon you. But I'm going to say, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me as the president of Parker University and the great state of Texas, I hereby confer upon you the degree of an Associate in Applied Science and in Computer Information Systems, Health Information Technology, General Studies, an Associate of Applied Science and Diagnostic Sinography, an Associate of Applied Science and Radi Radiologic, uh, Radiologic Technology, an Associate of Applied Science and Occupational Therapy Assistant, an Associate of Applied Science in Massage Therapy, and a certificate in massage therapy with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining hither, uh, thereto pertaining, you may now move your tassel from the right to the left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the seventh graduating class of the College of Business and Technology and the ninth graduating class of the College of Health Sciences. Um, we thank you again for coming to this commencement ceremony and please join the Parker University community in celebrating the accomplishments of this graduating class um, with a reception honoring the graduates. Um, it will be to take place here in the church just outside the auditorium. Um, please meet your graduate there. We're, feel free to take pictures uh, and just continue the fellowship and continue congratulations for their uh, accomplishment here. And if you would, please uh, bow with me for the benediction prayer. And um, if you would, please stay standing for the uh, exiting of the platform party, um, the faculty and staff, as well as the students. Please join me in prayer. God, make me a channel of thy peace, that where there is hatred, I may bring love, that where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness, that where there is discord, I may bring harmony, that where there is error, I may bring truth. That where there is doubt, I may bring faith. Where there is despair, I may bring hope. Where there is shadows, I may bring thy light. Where there is sadness, I may bring joy. God, grant that I may seek rather than comfort than to be comforted. To understand than to be understood. To love than to be loved. For it is by giving that one receives. It is by self-forgetting that one finds. It is by forgiving, one, the, the, forgiving that one is forgiven. It is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. Amen.